Sometimes we're in a rush. It's nice to be able to record keyframes on the fly in a real live environment using a mixer. Sometimes some people also feel that they prefer to ride the levels in real time rather than adjust them manually. We're going to see how we do that. With this, we're going to record these in real time using the audio mixer. I'm going to be recording the piece of music here at the end. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit so we have an easier time seeing both. For this to work, though, I need to make sure that my mixer is in audio is in auto for automation. When I click on it, it's in live. This is clip. This is where we started. But for us here, we need it to be in auto. We need to tell it what track I'd like to record on. I'd like to record on the A5 track. I definitely need to make sure that the track itself happens to have the volume switch thrown so keyframes can be seen. And I'm going to hit the record button and it'll when I hit the record button, I'll be able to play with this controller knob in real time and it will record my keyframes. Two notes before I do it. First, I'm intentionally going to screw it up a little bit. This way, I have something that I can show you and teach after it and you can see how well it works. You won't see the keyframe show up until I've hit stop. The second are the zero and zero up here. It's a pre-roll and post-roll, and some people like to roll into it and roll out of the, the playback of that area. And I would suggest times of like, say, two seconds or so for that. With this being said, I'm going to go ahead here and hit the record button and ride these in real time. Oh, Audie's working over here. A lot of posts and a lot of angry people. I don't know. <laughs> A lot of stuff is true. When I let go, you can see it's put keyframes all along the timeline. We're going to be thinning out these keyframes in the next section. And before we get there, though, I'm going to point out that this is a lot easier if you have a hardware mixer. Doing this with the keyboard, you can only really do one track. It'd be nice to be able to ride three or four simultaneously.